usually I can expect a rather large shipment around the second or third of the year. Uh, this year it was, I think, the sixth, and I got about 200 boxes in. Um, and then from there, once I get everything in, it's kind of fast and furious and getting stuff packed and, and ready to go and trying to get things ready for that first training session for when you get to the first leg of preseason. And so there's a lot that goes into it. You know, this year is actually cut really short just because of CONCACAF and having to start our preseason early. So, uh, yeah, yeah, time's, uh, <laughs> time's very uh, scarce right now, but I'm trying to make the most of it and, and get everything ready to go. So, well, yeah, the reality's definitely set in, and it'll set in more when we get down to Orlando, so... How are you feeling, Mac? Ready for a new season. Okay, that's enough. Go ahead. <laughs> well, we just finished up our annual kickoff summit to kick off the year from a business standpoint, and Really the purpose of that is to, to share with our entire team the goals, objectives, initiatives for the 2020 season. And it's really an opportunity for us to be very transparent uh, with our organization, with the team, and tell everyone exactly what we're expecting of them and what we're expecting of the organization, uh, both on the pitch and off the pitch uh, throughout 2020. Well, to the fans, first, Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for sticking with us. It's been a, quite a journey over our first five seasons, and we think that 2020 we're poised to have you know the best year we've ever had as a club, both uh, from a football standpoint, but also from the business standpoint. And uh, we are growing the business. We're getting great people in our organization. I, I shared and communicated that with uh, some of our fans recently, but we've we've really uh, invested in people and organization. We've invested in uh, new roles and and more staff. Uh, higher, kind of higher level, higher caliber um, staff and, and, and positions and roles and that's a, that's a big focus for us. Uh, we want to deliver the best product we possibly can deliver to you. Two of you guys are going to have a new coaching staff. Um, I'll, I'll send it to Dave first. Um, so just maybe a little bit around you know, the process, uh, finding the coach and then you know, some, some additional tid tidbits about, uh, about our coaching staff. You know, as soon as I as soon as I took the job, you know, worked really really closely with Manchester. We went we had the benefit of the off season. That was really crucial for us. Is that you know um, we wanted to take the time that we needed to find the right person. Um, there were a few, few key things for us when we when we looked at who we wanted to hire to be head coach. We felt like we had a team that was built to win, and so we wanted to hire a winner um, and someone who's had experience of winning. We wanted to hire someone who plays the same football that we do. We think, think we have a really good style of football that's been developed through, through Patrick and, and, and Dome, and we want to find someone who, who expands upon that. Um, and then it was really important we also find somebody that was a fantastic person. And you know, these guys haven't met Ronnie yet. The one thing I didn't say, Ronnie got his visa this morning. He's traveling tomorrow, so he'll be here for preseason. Um, you can obviously, we, we had the, the great news this week. Something that Dave said that uh, he's been working on for quite some time. I know in, in talking to Dave uh, when, when he officially got in the role, a asking him what his priorities w were, he said to me, you know, number one, uh, we got to get a deal done with Keaton. So um, Keaton, tell us about uh, you know, getting the deal done, being here uh, long term, and, and what that means to you. I mean, it, it's super exciting. Uh, I, I wanted to be here as well after the end of last season. Um, and yeah, we've been working with David this whole off season to try to get that deal done. And I'm super excited to be here. Um, I, I love this club. I love last season and it ended uh, disappointingly, but the rest of the season was great. We had a lot of success and um, yeah, it was, it was definitely on my mind to, to stay here for, for long term. Next time. Next generation, yeah. huh? Yeah. So you're going to take care of them? Of course. No. 
like my little brother. Maxim, how are you? Nice meeting you. Finally. Yeah, finally. You get your visa very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Now the lawyers is doing a good job. Ah, it's a good job. The travel was good. This is a lottery number. You gonna win? <laughs> I'm gonna play first. <laughs> Finally here. It was a long day yesterday with a lot of traveling, but uh, and also today some traveling. So it was good to come to the pitch now and uh, see the boys. And uh, I'm looking forward to start working with them now. It's a very good group. There's a lot of togetherness in there and 100% um, in uh, in training. You can see today. So and a lot of quality as well. So the consistency together with uh, the quality going to be. Uh, a big asset for, for us in the in this season. Uh, but we're going to work hard now, make ourselves ready, and uh, looking forward to to see the fans on the stadium. First time we'll be uh, in the Champions League, so that's going to be an exciting game. So um, we just uh, around and preparing and looking forward to to meet everybody in New York.